Good morning and welcome to Take Your Life Back Today Show with Ralph Friedrichs. Today we're going to touch base on a topic that I had uh, started to speak about but then I changed to speak about my parents. Uh, they have now taken their first vacation together uh, in probably 20 years. Uh, my parents are divorced. Uh, they are rethinking their future together for practical purposes. So they took a vacation for two weeks down to South Carolina. I'm pleased to announce they made it down there well and they are doing well. What I wanted to talk about the other day before I uh, decided to bring up the subject of my parents was three best reasons to stay in recovery. First, I want to give a shout out to Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. I just want to personally say, Larry, I'm glad you're feeling better. Uh, keep going full steam ahead, uh, but I am very glad that uh, you are feeling better. Uh, for people that want to get a hold of Larry, guys, uh, you can call me at 516-485-2741. That's 516-485-2741. Larry Geis from the Geis Academy. He will help you from your addiction to your recovery, hand in hand, one day at a time. You can also find him, uh, if you Google search him at www.odysseyconsultant.org. That's www. Dot Odyssey Consultant dot org. That's Larry Geis from the Geis Academy at 516-485-2741. Give a shout out to GlobalEyeglasses.com where they are focused on saving you money. Their home trial is going very well. Uh, people are ordering those frames, getting them into their home, showing them to their loved ones, showing them to their friends, look in the mirror with them, then sending them back with the label that is included in the box that's globaleyeglasses.com they are focused on saving you money they're focused on making you see better with options like progressive lenses line bifocal transitions photochromatics polarization thinner lenses uv coating night driving uh, anti-reflecting coating these are all options available at globaleyeglasses.com folks keep getting a hold of me to get your coupon for free shipping. All you need to do is uh, check out, go Ralph Life Back. That's R A L F L I F E B A C K. That's Ralph Life Back. And you will get your free shipping with any order placed. Please go to www.globaleyeglasses.com where they are focused on saving you money. If you need to get a hold of me, if you need help with your eyeglasses, I have 30 years' experience in the optical business. You can Call me at 631-599-0218. You can also get hold of me on my hotline, which is 844-405-L. Three best reasons to be in recovery, folks. Recovery isn't for everyone, but that doesn't mean that recovery isn't an awesome feeling. Ask any of the millions of people who have gotten their lives back from getting into recovery. I would be surprised if you found anyone that told you that their life was better while they were on drugs, uh, then it is now that they are in recovery. There is probably not one single person that will tell you that. For those who have, for those of us who get it, this is a new life for us, a new world, and a newfound happiness being in recovery. I don't bother trying to explain what it's like to people to have never experienced addiction. It would be like trying to describe the color blue to a man who had been born blind. Some things can be, cannot be explained, only understood. It is through experience that I share this bond with those who relate to me. And in doing so, I hope that you can relate to my words as well. I do not shove my recovery down people's throats. I do not puff my chest out and act like I am better than anyone else. Just because I don't drink or do drugs. Everyone has the right to make their own decisions in life and it doesn't bother me. However, I am passionate about recovery. I am passionate about the community I belong to, and I am passionate about my audience that listens to me. For those who may still be uh, may still be feeling that I are uh, uh, down in the dumps because of their uh, recovery, here are three best reasons to be in recovery. Why do I love recovery? Here are my three best reasons, and the most important reason is freedom. I know it sounds cliche, but you have to understand recovery has given me the freedom to do what I want in life. I get to manage my money, which I was never able to do while addicted. I get to manage my time. My time management in recovery is 
million times easier and better. I get to cultivate meaningful relationship with my wife, my parents, my children and my grandchildren. I get to be responsible and dependable with my word. My word now is as good as gold. I learn to better deal with fear. Yes, in the beginning of my sobriety, the fear of the unknown was the toughest. I learned to be grateful to everyone. I learned to be grown up, although in a human factor I am a grown up, but yet in, during my addiction I was acting like a child. With learning how to manage my life skills and with no longer being shackled by addiction, there is nothing I cannot do. These days I do what I want, when I want. All the while I am able to keep the rest of my life in order. I am not skipping around with a sense of immortality, yet I am not held back by irrational fear. I can work, earn money, travel, spend time with loved ones, exercise in general, just enjoy my life. That is freedom. That, my friends, is awesome. Number two on my list is good health and simply feeling great. It isn't until I uh, regain my health that I realize how valuable it actually was and still is. If you don't have your health, then what do you have? There are people in life that have millions and millions of dollars, but once they lose their health, nothing can help them. Granted, I've always been into fitness and exercise, and I love learning about diet and sports science. I've always found it fascinating. The body is such a brilliant piece of engineering. It is amazing what God created. For those of us who aren't into this kind of thing, there is still no denying how amazing you feel once you cleanse your system of toxic chemicals like drugs and alcohol that exists in your body. The drugs aside, just think about the health benefits never drinking again, folks. Alcohol is quite literally poisonous. Not to mention all the carbs and sugars they put in beers and in cocktails. You don't have to be in tip-top shape or have a super uh, model body to feel good. Once you get sober, you will instantly notice that your skin will lighten up, your eyes will look sharper and clearer. You will, get, uh, you will notice your sleep to be more fulfilling and your days are more energized. Whether you want to take your health to the next level is up to you, folks. But health benefits of sobriety itself are monumental, and you should start utilizing that. And number three on my list is feeling the love. No, seriously, all my life I have always been afraid of people. I was afraid to be judged. I was afraid not to fit in, and I would do or say something stupid at any time. That feeling where you want to hide in the corner and crawl out of your skin is the worst. It's probably my biggest fears. All you need is love. John Lennon wrote that, I believe. When you are getting sober, you need people to lean on. Quickly I learned that the best way to spend my time was with people that made me happy. I don't have to like everyone and anyone uh, has to like me. But I can tell you that it feels good to be loved. I suggest that everyone surround themselves with people they love. I tell my family I love them. I tell my friends I love them. I am very grateful to have discovered that my biggest fear was ironically exactly what I was searching for. Love doesn't have to be commy or cheesy. I allow myself today to give love and receive it. With so many people in the world, I question how I ever thought I was alone, folks. How do I think I was so different that there was no one out there who I could relate to uh, or I could connect to with on intimate or even spiritual level is the alcohol that prevented me from doing so. It's much better this way in sobriety. I find my spiritual spirituality through other people. God is love. But wait, there is more. The truth is that we could go on and on. I look at my life and I just feel so lucky and so grateful right now at this particular moment. With what we have all been through together as fellow addicted people, it is amazing how we can sit here with a beautiful smile and to know that our 
Lord and Savior, loves and protects us daily. The fact that I get to wake up every day and not obsess over drugs and alcohol is such a blessing. But the reality is, is that uh, it has only gotten better and better as time goes on. Each and every day is a blessing from God. Each and every 24 hours is a uh, blessing from God. I learn more about myself. I stay connected to my faith. And I do my best uh, each and every day that I can. I am no, by no means perfect, folks. Absolutely not. I have so many flaws like everyone else. And recovery doesn't uh, mean you have a perfect life. All it means is that you are smart about your actions. However, this is life. Uh, this is a life that is better than anything I thought it would ever have or deserve. For this, I am eternally grateful to my Almighty God, to my wife, and to all my supporters that are out there that have helped me step by step through recovery, through sobriety. Those folks are the ones that witness my show each and every day. You folks get to see my progress each and every day. And I wish and I pray to God that I could only see every person that's out there, how they are progressing in their sobriety. It is easier for you to see me because you get to look through the camera. You get to visually see my progress daily. You get to read about my situations on Facebook. If I only knew each and every one of your names or your uh, uh, phone numbers, or if each and every one of you put videos on YouTube and said, Ralph, this is my progress, I would be watching. Number one is that freedom, the freedom to manage your money, folks. Not to waste it on drugs and alcohol. The freedom to manage your time. The freedom to cultivate meaningful relationships with your loved ones, your friends. The freedom to learn to better deal with your fears. The freedom to be grateful. The freedom to learn to be a good and better human. With learning how to manage my life skills and with no longer being shackled by addiction, there is nothing I cannot do and there is nothing you cannot do. Unshackle yourself from drugs and alcohol. Good health and simple, uh, simply feeling great is number two. It isn't until after I regain, regain my health that I realize how valuable it actually is. Folks, millions and millions of dollars cannot buy you a healthy life. One way to start is to recover your healthy life by eliminating those drugs and alcohols. Start today. You cannot wait until tomorrow. And number three is feeling the love. No, seriously. All my life, I was afraid of people. I was afraid to be judged by each and every one that was out there probably judging me. I was afraid not to fit in or I would say something stupid to people because of my addiction. The alcohol was communicating through my voice to you. That feeling where you want to hide in a corner and crawl out of your skin is the worst feeling possible. It's probably my, it was probably my biggest fears at the time. When you are getting sober, you need people to lean on. You need a support group. Quickly, I've learned the best way to spend my time was with people that made me happy. I don't even like, uh, I don't have to like everyone, and not everyone has to like me. But I can tell you that it feels good to be loved, and you should know that feeling. I suggest that everyone surround themselves with people that they love. I tell my family I love them. I tell my friends I love them. I am very grateful to have discovered that my biggest fear was ironically exactly what I was searching for. Love doesn't have to be corny or cheesy. I allow myself today to give love and receive it openly. With so many people in the world, I question how I ever thought I was alone in this big, gigantic world. How did I think I was so different and that there was no one out there that could relate to my story is beyond me because there are millions of people addicted to drugs and alcohol and I hope to 
just get one of you and my audience to today make that commitment to drop your alcohol addiction, to drop your drug addiction. But wait, there is more. The truth is, is that we could go on and on about what drugs to alcohol, how it can hurt you, but more importantly, how it can help you. I look at my life and I just feel so lucky and so grateful today with what I, we have been all through during our addiction, the fact that I get to wake up each and every morning and that the Almighty God lets me have another 24 hours on this beautiful earth is a miracle in itself. I learn more about myself each and every day. I stay connected to my faith with my God and I do my best each and every day that I can. I am by no means perfect and recovery doesn't mean you have a perfect life. It just means that you have realized what your flaws are and you are working with and through them. However, this is a life that is better than anything I thought it would ever have, I would ever have and I would ever deserve. For this, I am eternally grateful to my Almighty God and I am eternally grateful to my audience because without my audience I wouldn't be doing these videos and I wouldn't be talking to you each and every day, folks. I need for each and every one of you and my audience to understand that if you start thinking positive thoughts, positive results will happen in your life. Eliminate the negative people around you. And when I say eliminate, I don't mean to expose of them, I mean to avoid them. Because negative thoughts will give you negative results. Positive res uh, thoughts will give you positive results. Remember that a sober today, I promise you, will automatically start a better tomorrow for you. If you stay sober today and tomorrow morning you wake up and you're still sober, repeat that method again for the next 24 hours and you will see a week, you will see a year and a couple years go flying by. For an example, my friend up north who has finally hit rock bottom about two and a half months ago is now sober for two and a half months. He could have lost everything around him, his job, his family, yet he was given a second chance, a second chance in life. I hope he takes advantage of this second chance. I hope that he can preserve his relationship with his family. I hope he can keep his job because there are no second chances, folks. And I am directly talking to my friend and I know you know who I am. And I know you know who you are. There is no second chance. Take advantage that God has allowed you to keep your job, keep your family, and to move forward with your sobriety. Do not go back into the old habits. Do not fall into old patterns. Folks, teach your children to say no to drugs and alcohol. It is your responsibility to make sure that your children between 0 and 18 get the best role model ship from you. Be their hero. Do not smoke, do not drink, do not use profanity, and do not physically abuse. And do not teach them by showing them that it's okay to smoke. Do not drink in front of them and saying it's okay to drink. Educate them the right way. Teach them through their chapters of life between 0 and 18. Every year is a chapter in their book of life. Between 0 and 18 is your responsibility. Make sure you take advantage of it. So when they look through their little eyes and they see their hero, you, their role model, you are doing the best job possible. Teach them about God and how God will guide and direct them for the rest of their lives, folks. Folks, it is so important that you, if you're contemplating sobriety or if you're already sober and you're continuously living in sobriety, is to do one day at a time. Never jump the gun and say, I'll be sober for a week or two, a year, or forever. Only say, I am sober for now. I am sober for tomorrow, and then etc., etc., every 24 hours at a time. I hope to God that each and every one of you out in my audience has the best day of their lives, but more importantly, I hope and I pray to God that each and every one of you in my audience has a sober, a sober day. 
and even further down the road, make it a sober life, but only shoot for a sober day today. Take these 24 hours and make them your day of sobriety, your 24 hours of sobriety. Folks, please have a sober day and may God bless you.